A couple of the recommendations I got on the Travel Fashion Girls Facebook group were for some awesome waterproof boots. And here I have the Ugg Simmons. Let me just double check. It's the Ugg Simmons. And this is a waterproof boot by Ugg. I actually, if you're in England, I actually just discovered the shoeaholics.com website and they have a bunch of discounts and 20% off coupon codes right now, which is why I got these for like half price. So awesome because Ugg's a bit pricey. So if you're, if you're local here in, um, in England, try shoeaholics.com because they have some really good deals. Um, for the Tiva, I actually picked these up. I think in, I might have gotten these in the US um, on Amazon, so I always go to Amazon for everything. It's just easy, especially with Amazon Prime. But these are also waterproof boots. They've been recommended in a bunch of articles, and really it's because they've been recommended by our readers. So um, I'll talk to you a little bit about each of these as well, and the name of these, these are the Tiva Delovina boots. They are, if you're not familiar with Tiva, let me find a thing so you can see the brand. Um, so that's the Tiva de Lavina boot. So why don't we get started with this one. I actually bought this one at the start of the season. I was, thinking, I was planning to go on a last minute trip to Ireland um, in autumn and I asked everybody, what's the best travel shoe for Ireland? And by far, everybody seemed to recommend either the Tiva boot or the Ugg Simmons. So I went, I went and did my research. I had a look to see which one was available in England to buy, first of all, and um, looking at the different features. So I ended up purchasing the Tiva ankle boot or the low boot, and they actually have the Tiva de Lovina in tall, a mid-calf, and a low boot. So one of the reasons why I bought this particular boot was because it was, um, it seemed to really tick all the boxes. It's waterproof, it has an amazingly sturdy sole, and as I mentioned, this is really key, not just when you're walking in the rain, in rainy weather or snowy weather, but when you're walking on ice, as it's gotten really cold here lately, walking on the icy streets has been a bit, you know, it's a bit slippery. So this is really key for me. And also not only um, about having actual, that this provides traction, but it actually adds a layer of warmth in between your feet and the ground, which is surprising. It's something that I didn't really expect, but when I was walking around last weekend and it was super cold, I was wearing my favorite motor um, motorcycle, moto boots, and they really weren't giving me a lot of protection underneath from the cold. So I started, I brought my, I brought these out instead. And so that's one thing to consider with the sole of the shoe as well. Obviously, the other reason why I like them is because they're not rubber boots. They are not like wellies or anything. They don't look like a rain shoe. So that's really key, um, I think, for any waterproof boot is that not only do they provide the function of keeping you dry and your feet dry and comfortable while you're traveling, but also that they look like a regular shoe. Another major plus for this boot is the height. So this is really great when you're planning to pack a shoe, um, especially for colder weather. Now, if you're traveling on a trip where you're gonna be experiencing both warm and cold weather, packing a shorter boot or an ankle boot like this one is really helpful because that way it won't take up as much space as a taller boot will on your trips. Plus, you can actually um, pack some stuff inside to make use of the space. Now, if you're traveling only in the winter and only for cold weather, to be honest with you, you could almost get away with wearing just, just bringing one pair of boots and wearing those the entire time. And that way you won't need to pack them in your carry-on or in your suitcase. And that's a little bit more space than you can save. So, um, and in that case as well, you could wear a taller boot. And, in, and when it's really cold, I do recommend a taller boot. And in fact, for me, that's one of the things I found that was a con with this um, with this boot is that it, because it was a shorter boot, my legs actually get a little bit cold, even with my thermals um, underneath. 
Plus, another thing is that because I'm five foot two, um, I've recently discovered in my styling course at the London College of Fashion that a shorter boot like this one for someone that's a bit on the shorter side cuts off the leg. So it's better, um, so a taller or a calf length or a knee length boot is, is, is helpful um, to streamline the silhouette. So. A couple of things, a vain reason, a practical reason. Um, so I've discovered that for me, I now would rather um, wear a taller boot to help keep me warm. But again, the practical um, reasons for traveling with a shorter boot is that you can pack easily. So a couple of things to keep in mind. So all in all, Te this is a really great boot. It's been around for a long time, and Teva is also known for being a comfortable brand. In addition to that, they're a comfortable brand that offers a balance between function and style as well. So, the reason why I bought this particular color is because a tan boot is a really good alternative to wearing um, black or even brown, and tan's very neutral. It goes with everything, even an all black wardrobe. So, I'm not really sure which style I like best. They're really similar. Um, this one's still a low boot. It's a little bit higher. Um, again, I still probably prefer, I think for me, I'd want a taller one, but for travel, this is a really good, still a good length, a little bit more coverage, and the benefit, and this was really what I didn't realize when I first ordered the Tevas, was the lining. It's been so cold, and in my house it gets so cold that I just thought, oh my gosh, I really want a lined shoe. So if you have a, if you take a look at these, because they are Uggs, they have this really nice warm lining inside, which is awesome. And um, again, really helps to insulate the warmth between the ground and your feet. And color-wise for me, I prefer this darker shade of brown. I love the way it looks against my gray jeans or my black pants, so that's a big plus. And I also feel like it goes well with my lighter jean colors as well. So for me, this is my favorite color. Um, because I do wear a lot of black, choosing a color other than a black shoe kind of brings out the depth in, you know, kind of creates some depth in an outfit. But if you're also, but if you are shorter like me and you want to create length, then, you know, a black shoe with a black pant or matching your shoes to your bottoms also helps to elongate length. So there's a tip for you. But as far as the Ugg Simmons, aside from the ultra warm interior, they also have a nice rubber sturdy sole offering traction. As I mentioned before, this is great not only for the rain because when it rains, sometimes it can create slippery surfaces on cobblestones or just on the floor in general. Um, maybe sometimes when you're walking on stairs. I know when I've walked in the tube station, for example, in London, and it's a bit wet on the top, you know, it's a bit slippery when you're going in. But also, if it's icy on the floor, then it's, I found myself wobbling around on the ice. And of course, if you're going on the snow as well, well, these are helpful yeah. but this is great and versatile I love the moto um, design with some buckles I think it's just um, it's fun it adds a little bit of style to an outfit they're very versatile very warm um, waterproof and what else can I say about them they're a good durable brand also very comfortable and highly recommended from the travel fashion girls on the Facebook group everybody's always recommending this one and um, when I asked them what's the best travel shoe for Ireland a lot of people said the Ugg Simmons and I got these half off and because it is February right now it's a great time to stock up on some sale prices in um, for cold weather gear so there's a shopping tip for you there and I mentioned earlier that I got these on shoeaholics.com um, for like 50% off because there was 20% coupon and that's a UK website I just found it recently so I'm sharing um, that tip, but other than that, these are available on Amazon in the US, so if you're interested in getting them. So two great shoes. I believe these might also be available in a taller length, and um, I'll be also checking these out when I'm going to the US and seeing if there's a taller option because I would like a little bit of extra warmth because just living here versus traveling. Shorter is great for travel, 
But if you're going to be spending an extended amount of time, then maybe in cold weather, then maybe a calf length or even a taller knee length is ideal because that'll help to keep you warm. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Alex with TravelFashionGirl.com where we teach women how to travel carry-on only for any destination in the world. Safe and stylish travels.